Welcome back to The David Pakman Show. Support the show for free by doing all of your Amazon.com shopping through the black banner at davidpakman.com. Click it, bookmark it, use it every time you shop. You can also become a David Pakman Show member, which is made possible in part by liberalbias.com. You may not realize this, Lewis, but we're getting more and more evidence that penguins are actually liberals and are part of a conspiracy to scare people about global warming. You can find out much more at liberalbias.com. Terrifying. I want to say hi to a new member, Gary Moriarty. Gary Moriarty, we're thrilled to have him aboard. And we love the Irish. Is Moriarty an Irish? Yeah. Last name? Oh, yeah. How sure about that are you? A hundred. A hundred percent? Yep. Let, just so you know, Gary, Lewis has been a hundred percent sure about things in the past that he's been wrong about, admittedly. Like when you said you were a hundred percent sure that ibuprofen was aspirin. Remember that? Yeah, I got aspirin and Advil confused. Right, but you were 100% sure at the time. Moriarty is, is is pretty different. Okay. Yeah. Gary Moriarty, welcome. Thank you for being a David Pakman Show member. It's great to have you. Wish I had some Irish music. Protester Al Neal of Fight for a Fair Economy in Ohio got some unusual silencing treatment during a speech by Governor Tim Pawlenty. And uh, this was at a, at a, uh, uh, from a Romney supporter. A clash broke out at this Republican rally and a guy, an older guy, stuffs a handkerchief in this guy's face to try to quiet him down. And this was apparently after sticking a, a, a water bottle in the guy's mouth already. Not sticks it in his face, sticks it in his mouth. Let's actually take a look at some of this video, courtesy of Crooks and Liars, Lewis, and, and then we'll get your thoughts on it. I know you have a lot to say. Here we go. I think we have it. So there's the guy. And then this guy just stuffed a handkerchief in the guy's mouth. Look at that, Lewis. This is unbelievable. And the guy just grabs it out from his mouth and puts it away. I can't believe the restraint of the guy who had the handkerchief stuffed in his mouth. I would have knocked that old man out. Really? Yeah. Even though it's an older guy? Yep. You wouldn't have felt bad about it? Only if I killed him, I guess. Well, that could happen. We know that that's taken place. Okay, maybe I just would have elbowed him in the gut. You think so? Yeah. I mean, this is, this is despicable behavior. I can't believe it. And the guy afterwards said he acted out of character and he apo apologizes if he offended anyone. If you offended someone, you apologize. You don't apologize for the actual... That's the new thing, Lewis. You apologize because people were offended mm. as opposed to apologizing because you did something wrong. Yeah, I, the funny part about this is I guarantee you that guy is a big fan of the Constitution, too. Oh, he of course supports yeah. the Constitution. How could you not? Right. He's a big fan of the First Amendment. He loves the Second Amendment, obviously, but uh, apparently didn't, didn't like what was going on here. Now, just for comparison, I do want to present a little bit of video evidence here of how President Obama, someone from the left, dealt with a heckler at a protest. Let's take a listen, Lewis. I think it's just good to have some comparison. Sure. Bad rerun. And when you ask them, what specifically is your, sir, I, I'm, I'm here to speak to these folks. The, the, uh, you can hold your own rally. You're being rude. Sir, we'll try and talk to these people. <laughs> show, show, I'll be happy to, I'll be happy to read your book. If you want to give me your book, I'll be happy to read it, but don't interrupt my conversation with these folks. All right? A right. little bit different, a little bit different there, but I, I don't think we can read too much into that, right? I mean, of course, both on the left and right, everybody's the same. Well, you can make that argument when it comes to some things. But, 